Man, it smells pretty good. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I'm gonna to be doing a full review on the complete line of Happy Land fragrances. This is a pretty unique fragrance house. They're one of those people who are gonna go after the high oil fragrances, but what I do like about Happy Land is they take the time, similar to like Dua and Alexandria, to create their own kind of feeling to the scent um, and their own unique name. There are a few times where they're trying to kind of copy or borrow things from other scents, but most of the time, they're their own unique creation. Super high quality oils and longevity and projection. Three really, really good ones that I like from Happy Land, and then two ones that I also think are worth recommending depending on who you are. So I'm gonna start off with the ones that weren't my favorite, although I do pretty much like them all. If you watched my first video, I really liked Happy Land fragrances. The first batch I got, and I actually like some of the newer ones much better. Barbershop, the original. Now this one, almost like the solid version of Barbershop, maybe a little bit more. Super, super strong. When I first got it, the bottle, I think it smelled more like a doctor's office than a barbershop. Definitely <laughs> smelled that doctor's office style vibe. I really do like this fragrance. This is one of EJ's first ones. I smell 7.5, likability about a five on this one and that's probably the lowest one just because i had one of my reviewers go buy it and they really were turned off by it and it does have a unique take on a barber shop it smells like three or four ingredients maxed out i think it might smell differently in different weather and things like that but happy land barber shop still really solid if you're a barber shop collector definitely check this one out because it is unique projection i'd give a 9.5 obviously super strong home for the holidays i really really like the idea of this one you could see the guy in his little uh, his santa hat i do like it also because i forget which country it is but ohm means man so when you see all these poor ohms they're all over sephora they're all over ulta it basically means four men so he's kind of like taking an american joke of it by um, making it home like our home for the holidays but it's spelled like ohm for man because it is a manly scent i just kind of like the little bits of that man it smells pretty good this is a really good scent guys but it just for some reason it had the way that this all had the feeling of this scent, it kind of feels one dimensional. It's good, it's holiday like, it almost smells like like some coffee and like some nutty coffee, just very holiday-esque, but for some reason, it just, it almost has like one layer to it, um, instead of like, oh, I smell like the nuttiness or like this or like that, it's all, it's all in like one package. It almost smells like warm. But it's, it's a good scent, it's solid, but and I really liked it when I first smelled it. It might have been one of my best, but I actually prefer Cure Cafe a little bit more. That's coming up later on this list. It's totally its own scent versus Cure Cafe as well. But I, in Cure Cafe, I just liked a few things a little bit more. But anyways, that's home for the holidays. I love the, the bottle and the idea behind all of it. A 7.5 for the smell, a 7 for the likability, and an 8.5 overall for the longevity. Home for the holidays, very good. Okay, so I guess the only bottle that I didn't line up here is Happy Land Signature, and I'm recording, so I don't wanna make this video super long. Maybe I'll try to put the bottle on screen. Happy Land Signature was one of my favorites from the original line. It's very gourmandy. I remember it being like apple pie, blueberries, um, just generally a gourmand online, and I think they mentioned honey in there. Maybe there's a little bit of honey sweetness. I definitely see more of the apple pie and blueberry gourmand style vibe. They list like tobacco and stuff on there. I don't really get much tobacco almost at all it does not like a bad thing of it i just personally i don't get any tobacco i find it more gourmand and fruity and i guess both unisex could wear it, it is very good um, one of my favorites if i had to give happy land signature a rating i would give it an eight for the smell seven for the likability and i'd give it a nine for the performance happy land signature super saw one of my favorites from the initial batch but i think i like one of the newer ones better seven now this is another one where i just love the marketing about this and the look of this one uh it reminds me of the movie seven just the way that they write it and then the seven in the middle and then it's also very dark because seven was a very dark movie but i really really like um the idea and everything behind it. I sprayed this for a full day once. I was gonna spray it again, but I just was like, I kinda get a feeling of this fragrance. I kinda know what it is. I, I sprayed it before I wore the second full day, and I was like, you know, I'm, I think I might go with something else because I understand this one from my first wearing. This really reminds me for some reason of like a really tuned up Dracar Noir, 
Um, not exactly like the same. I know Dracar Noir has like some f like fur and stuff in there, but just a really smooth, dark, 90s style scent. I don't know if you guys watched my other video. I'm not super into 80s and 90s style scents. This smells very good. It's very smooth and it accomplishes, you know, what it goes after. So if you're into dark 90s style scents with a really well done blending, I would definitely check out Seven from Happy Land Fragrances. And then Plum Loco now it smells like a really dirty, strong plum and it kind of smells like tobacco, but I think it's the saffron in there. When I was talking about it in one of the other reviews, somebody was like, that's not tobacco, it's saffron. Well, if you look up, saffron I think is supposed to smell a little bit like leather and leather tobacco. It's like that really robust, manly style scent, but I'd almost picture, I could see a, I could see a woman wearing this because of the heavy plum very sweet very strong um, for the plum lover out there for sure i'm not a super into plum tobacco I really liked off you know the juiciness off the nozzle there too plum logo very good for the plum lover so i also forgot blue fire here i didn't write anything up about it it's funny that i listed it here and i didn't write it down blue fire is one it smells like a very musky blue style scent um it's almost got i think it has like ambergris in there so there's is a little bit of that hormonal quality that you get from like isoe super or ambergris but i honestly really liked this fragrance i haven't gotten any compliments with it but i've showed it to two people and they just made like the worst analogy you could ever make based on the smell and i just honestly don't get it because i think it smells really good it was one of my i think ones that i thought was the, one of the best ones from happy land but um just because of the way people said about it i actually haven't retested it but I remember I liked wearing this one and smelling it. I like smelling it again. So I'm gonna have to say, screw those people who don't like the smell. I'm gonna mix this one up. Uh, I forgot to put it in there. I didn't do like a full analysis of it, but I, I just wanna say Blue Fire. I think it's really good. I'm gonna test it more, but some people I've showed just absolutely hate it. Just wanna let you guys know. All right, now we're getting into the two ones that I definitely recommend. And for the right person, I think these are absolutely great. Green Irish Tobacco. Now, um, if you guys know any sort of niche fragrances, you should know already what he's trying to do with this one. It is a mix of Green Irish Tweed from Creed and then niche style tobacco notes. Now, I looked online and I think he said it's supposed to smell like Green Irish Tweed and Tobacco Vanille, which is interesting because they're both Tom Fords, but I just thought it was a general tobacco style smell every time I smell it. I would say it's mostly green Irish tweed and that's maybe 20% of that tobacco smell. You know, deep in the background, there is like a tobacco style, like sweet moistness that kind of comes out in this one. You definitely do smell it, but I think it smells overall like green Irish tweed and green Irish tweed, in my opinion, is kind of like a three dimensional green style scent. And I feel like what is recreated from green Irish tweed, it's a little bit one dimensional because it needs to mix with the tobacco. Green Irish Tweed isn't one that, it's one that I always will respect and I always could wear, but it's not one of my top, top ones ever for me personally. I know it is for some other people. So it is pretty much as good as you could make Green Irish Tweed and tobacco. I'd recommend it. Yeah, I want some great Green Irish tobacco. Another one that I really liked and I only would put this one in the recommended because to me, it's the closest to a direct copy, and that is the Cravat Noir, which is a uh, YSL tuxedo clone. I've actually had a lot of different tuxedo clones from a lot of different companies, and they all really smell spot on. They all smell good. It's kind of like a tune-up of a lemon-style fragrance. It's very classy. Because it has that lemon freshness, you feel like you could wear it in the day and stuff, but it does smell like more like a nighttime scent. That Noir means night, too, so signifying that. It smells like tuxedo for us. Eight for the smell, eight for longevity, eight for projection. Maybe it's an 8.5, uh, I'd have to retest it, but very good, Cravat Noir Tuxedo Clone. Happy Land Fragrances, Cure Cafe. Now this one, I made a whole video about it, but it's essentially Tuscan leather mixed with a strong coffee note. Now the coffee note in here has gotta be the most authentic, um, dark smelling, coffee that I've ever smelled. It smells so good. It's definitely for the coffee lover. If you love coffee, you love Tuscan leather, you'll love this fragrance. If you haven't smelled those two, uh, you really have no idea what's gonna come at you, but it's a very leathery, 
coffee style fragrance it, it balances back between each one because the coffee is so prominent and so strong but then you do smell the leather great great amalgamation and like i said i kind of like the fresh coffee smell it's a nice way to something nice to smell in the morning and this one definitely pulls it off one of my absolute favorites cure cafe Let me see the rating i gave it here the smell an 8.5 I gave the likability a 7.5 because I really do like it, but I don't think every single person I show is gonna love it. And then the performance, I also gave a nine because all of Happy Lands are super strong. Cure Cafe, super good, one of my favorites. And another one that I just recently reviewed, but it's totally worth it, Happy Land Fragrances, Rhyolites. Now this one is a sweet bomb. It smells so, so good. It reminds me a lot of Andy Warhol by Bomb Number no. 9 but this one almost smells like a more tuned up, more safe version. Andy Warhol's kind of like this really unique, sweet, raspberry syrupy kind of thing, and it's it's very good, but it's also very sweet and very bold. With Rhyolite, I get pretty much all of the same um, levels of sweetness, but it's not as extreme, and it's a little bit more balanced to smell a little bit more like a normal fragrance. It is one of my favorites from Happy Land. It can't stand sweet fragrances, you probably won't like it, but if you like sweet fragrances, this is absolutely one of the best. And I gave Rhyolite an 8.5 for the smell, an eight for the likability, and the 8.5 for the performance. Very, very good, one of my absolute favorites. And the last one, one that really surprised me quite a bit and it's not one that I'm gonna say you need to go out and get it because I could definitely see it not being up people's alley and not working for some people but this fragrance absolutely sur surprised me and I gotta say so far I love it and that is Happy Land Fragrances Paisley Sky you can see they have a, only a man on the cover so that usually means that it's only for men the second that I smelled it I liked it a lot it smelled to me like a sexy hippie girl like that was exactly sexy hippie girl that was like that's exactly what that smells like because it has a little bit of this cloudy sexiness in there but it also has this feminine fruit quality that I get from it too but I decided, you know, I'm gonna wear it for a full day, try it out. I really, really like this stuff. It's weird that it's that one of the ones that's not unisex, but to me, I get a definitely a feminine kind of quality to this one that almost doesn't go away. It's the way like the ouds mix with the fruits. It's it's hard to explain, but. I just really, really, really enjoyed this one, guys. I'll put the notes on screen. I was surprised that Oud was the number one note, but I'd want you to get it just for how unique it is, and I would almost guarantee you somebody you know would absolutely love it. It may not be like your style because like I said, it almost has like a cloudy quality and some people would say Back Rat Rouge has a feminine cloudy quality and this smells to me even more of a feminine cloud than Back Rat Rouge does. But at the same time, I really like it. One of my favorites, definitely check it in, check into it. Um, if you like the notes online, if you like the notes on screen, um, one of my favorites actually really, really surprised me, Paisley Sky. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to my full review of Happy Land Fragrances. Had a few hiccups there, I didn't have a bottle, and then one of the fragrances I didn't have wasn't ready to review, but we threw it in there anyway. Let me know if you tried Happy Land Fragrances down below. Is there any other fragrance houses that I should check out? Have you checked, compared Happy Land to other fragrances? What's your favorite Happy Land Fragrances? I hope this video um, helps you pick the best one because if you're gonna pull the trigger, I would really want you to try the best thing that they got just so, you know, it's a win-win for everybody. It's a win-win for Happy Land. It's a win-win for you. And that's what we're looking for. Hopefully this video helped you out. We're on the road to 25,000 subscribers. And I couldn't do it without any of your guys' help. You guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully I'm having a great day. I hope to see you on the next video. Peace.